In this problem, we're given some algebraic expressions and we have to evaluate it for the given values of the variables. Let's work on this one over here first. So all we have to do is carefully plug in x and y into this expression. So let's do it really carefully. So we have the absolute value of negative 4 minus, and then uh, y is negative, so it'll be negative 7. And you can change it into a plus. You can skip steps. You know, minus and minus is plus. Uh, but I'll, I'll just show all the work. Minus, and this will be negative 4. That's your x. And then your y here is negative 7. OK. Let's see what happens here. So now let's go ahead and turn this into a plus. So it'll be negative 4 plus 7. So that'll be the absolute value of 3. Minus, and then negative 4 minus 7 is the absolute value of negative 11. So we're here. Now, the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. Um, a couple ways to think about it. Uh, you can think of it as it's the distance between negative 11 and 0, which is 11. Or you can just memorize it like I do. Um, whenever you have a negative inside an absolute value and you have a number, it goes away and you just get the positive number. So this is actually just 3 minus 11, right? Because this piece here turns into positive 11. It's not because there's two negatives. It's because the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. And then 3 minus 11 is 8. So we have the answer to our first problem. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and do this one here. So same thing. We're just carefully going to plug in the numbers. I'll do it up here. So we have negative 2 times. And then x here is negative 3 plus. And then we have uh, 7. And then y is negative 2. Good stuff over, and then x is negative 3, so negative 3 minus, and then y is negative 2, right? Wow, what a mess. Let's, let's keep going here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come down here, be really careful. Let's see, negative 2 times negative 3, that's going to give us a positive 6. 7 times negative 2, that's a negative 14. Good stuff. On the bottom we have negative 3, and then the negative and the negative here are going to turn into a positive 2. 6 minus 14, that's going to give us negative 8. And on the bottom, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So it's gonna, we're going to end up with the number 8, and that should be the final answer. Wow, that's really cool. That was not on purpose. <laughs> we got eight in both cases. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who's trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck to you.